Fishing boats are quite as cutting edge as America's finest. Operating off the coast of Alaska, this vessel comes equipped with some of the greatest technology ever to be bestowed on a fishing boat. But that doesn't mean things still can't go wrong. Something Chief Engineer Steve Sauer knows all too well. I just got a call from the wheelhouse. I'm going to the ECR. We got a bilge alarm down in the engine room. A bilge alarm is always alarming because it means that one of the ship's pumps responsible for bailing water and keeping the boiler in check has malfunctioned. Hey, Steve, you got me on the radio? So Steve will need to diagnose the issue and get it back up and running as soon as possible. Yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Hey, the number two steam condensing cooling pump is uh, blue and steel. Can you go ahead and stop that and start the number one pump? Go ahead and pull this pump apart and change out the mechanical seal down to the pump. Pump seals are known to fail from time to time, which is why this ship comes equipped with backup pumps that can take over while this one is being serviced. But lest the backup pumps suffer the same issue, it's best that Steve fix this one quickly. We had water pouring out of the top of the mechanical seal. That means the mechanical seal inside failed. So we're going to change this out, put a motor on it, and we'll be good to go. Okay. There we go. We're just going to put a little bit of O-ring lube on the O-rings. Pumps all put back together. Now we're ready to go downstairs, and we'll just get it bolted back in place, make sure it's not leaking, and then we'll turn the power back onto the motor. With the pump back in position. Okay, 10 copy. All that's left is to test it out. Coming on. All right, as you can see, the pump's running now. We don't have any leaks, so no leaks down here. Good to go. While Steve gets back to his rounds, another crew member is starting his shift in the ship's galley because feeding fish to our country may be the top priority on America's finest. But feeding the fishermen who do that job is no less important. And it's up to Jake Moyer to ensure that happens. The food is an important part of the operation. The guys are down there burning a lot of calories, working hard. And, you know, we're out here for extended periods of time. Some of the normal creature comforts that you have on land just aren't available out here. So, uh, like to make sure that they're fed well. And a big part of that means keeping Jake well equipped for his job, which in this case means a kitchen custom built for life on the Bering Sea. Oh, this, these are uh, sea rails. We are working on a moving platform and uh, these sea rails keep any pots or pans that I may have on the, on the French plates uh, from, from sliding all over and, and dumping on the floor. This thing's pretty cool here. This is a tilt skillet cast iron and it's on a gimbal so uh, you know if we're in weather and you're trying to keep something centered in there uh, you know you can release the lock and uh, it'll roughly kind of always stay flat with the movement of the vessel not surprisingly another pretty standard fixture on any fishing vessel is undoubtedly the most abundant ingredient the catch of the day Typically, I'll fillet 50 to 70 pounds of fish a day. And this is actually some really nice codfish that we're getting right now. This was caught within the last five hours. Super fresh. A pretty nice day to barbecue. So let's barbecue. With 50 crew requiring three squares every day, Jake's job is a delicate dance comprised of time management and multitasking. which, for Jake, also includes treating injuries like the one this fellow seems to have sustained down on deck. You want to go to sick bay and we'll take yeah, a look at it? If you don't mind, take it. Sure. Appreciate it. While Jake puts lunch on hold to play nurse, back in the wheelhouse, Captain Darren Vanderpoel is diagnosing an issue of a different kind. One of the doors that holds the net open appears to be off balance. It's not wanting to come up right. 
we've got to pull this door aboard. Then we can get it reset back out and, and fixed. For that, Captain Vanderpoel will rely on his eyes, ears, and muscle below. Deck boss Ali Apelu. Ali is the guy in charge of handling all the gear down on the deck. Go under. And on a pretty regular basis, fixing it. Get out of the way. Okay, Cap, I'm uh, keep pulling with the Yaho. We're just gonna leave it on the chain. With the door now on deck, it doesn't take Ali long to spot the issue. Well, what's happened was uh, one of the hammerlock broke off the uh, door leg, so right now we're gonna replace it with a new hammerlock. Hammerlocks like these keep the doors properly tensioned underwater. And when one breaks, it'll send a door spiraling. But with the faulty hammerlock now replaced, the problem should be fixed, and Ali and his crew can finally bring the net in. Alex, let him know, 14 ton, 14, one four. 14. That's not a terrible catch. It's not the 90 tons they need to fill the boat, but it's a good start, good enough to keep fishing in this area. So we're gonna line ourselves up to make another tow like that. That's a, it's not a great tow, but we could do worse. So sometimes you gotta take those base hits. We'll, we'll swing for the fence later. Watch out, watch out. All clear? All right, good work, fellas. All of you, fantastic job. Pleasure doing business with you. Great teamwork. Ten four. 